हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल पीएच केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बेली सिलमन रिएक्शन वी विल सी व्हाट इज बेली सिलमन रिएक्शन व्हाट इज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन विल अंडरस्टैंड सम एग्जांपल्स रिलेटेड टू इट एंड लास्टली वी विल गेट ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू दिस रिएक्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड व्हाट इज बेली सिलमन रिएक्शन so the belly sinbun reaction is between the activated alkin activated alkin can be any alkin attached to electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group can be cyanide aldehyde ester it can be ketone also so any alkin group attached to electron withdrawing group becomes an activated alkin which is used as the first reactant in this reaction the second reactant is any carbon electrophile electrophilic center so y can be oxygen and co2r and the catalyst used in this reaction is dapco so what is dapco dapco structure is like this if we will number this structure as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 the name of this structure becomes 1 4 diaza bicyclo 2 2 2 octane at 1 4 position we have two nitrogen groups and we have two six membered rings so bicyclo and we have eight carbons so octane so shortly it is known as dapco why dapco is used in this reaction because it is less basic it is less basic than other bases but it is more nucleophilic it is more nucleophilic in nature and it is a good living group because of these properties of dapco it is used as a catalyst in this reaction if we compare the basicity of quinolidin structure of quinolidin is similar to dapco but having only one nitrogen and dapco is having two nitrogens this is quinolidin and this is dapco if we compare the basicity of these two which is more basic this is more basic as compared to dapco why because this nitrogen contain lone pair which are free and this nitrogen also contain lone pair which are free to donate but here two nitrogens are attached and this nitrogen is more electronegative as compared to the carbon present here so it will show minus i effect and try to attract electron density from here towards itself so it makes this group less basic as compared to quinolidin now we will see the mechanism of this reaction so in the mechanism of this reaction i'll take one alkin activated alkin i'll take this alkin which is attached to a ester group now what happens first dapco will attack this activated alkin these lone pairs of nitrogen will attack over here and this double bond will shift here this double bond will shift on oxygen so negative charge will come on this here the double bond is present and to this carbon a nitrogen is attached as the valency of the nitrogen is 4 now so positive charge will come here now this uh, neg oxygen will try to restore itself so the second reactant comes into action here a uh, second reactant is aldehyde or ketone we'll take aldehyde here so when this negative charge is restored this double bond attack on the electrophilic carbon and 
this will goes here so what is the product the product is like this this remains as it is positive charge now this carbon becomes attached to this aldehyde so this structure becomes like this now next step is of protonation so in the next step protonation will takes place and the remaining structure will remains as it is protonation of this oxygen this is the depco like this now here the hydrogen is present there are two possibilities that oh will remove or this depco will remove but as compared to oh depco is a good living group so what happens is depco will remove in preference to oh so it becomes like this this is our final product and the depco is restored this is a catalyst in this reaction which is restored at the end of the reaction so this is the product of the reaction and the depco is restored now we will see the examples of this reaction first example you can see is this is the aldehyde and this is activated alkene and our catalyst is depco simply the first trick is what we have to do just at this hydrogen of the alkene we have to attach this carbon to this electrophilic group and con we have to convert this double bond to oh so what will be the product the product must be like this this cn will remains as it is this carbon gets attached to this carbon this carbon gets attached to this and this double bond o will becomes oh so this is the product you can directly write the product in this reaction without doing any mechanism so this is the trick number 1 here in this reaction you can see this is the aldehyde and this is activated alkene and depco is present so bailey's hillman reaction will takes place now according to trick number 1 write the product this oh will remains as it is this double bond o will becomes oh and this carbon gets attached here but now you can see here oxygen contains lone pair so oxygen attack here this double bond will shift here this oh will remove so the product is like this double bond present here this oh okay so this is our product and h2o will remove this is our final product so if oxygen is present or some group is present which is having lone pair and there is a possibility of rearrangement in the product then the final product can be different this is the trick number 2 third question is this here also we took aldehyde activated alkene bailey sinman reaction will takes place according to trick 1 try to write the product just this double bond o will converted into oh and this in this reaction if further step is given like sn and hcl so the reduction of this no2 will takes place and the product becomes like this oh this no2 will reduce to nh2 then or fe and these 
both the NO2 are converted into NH2. Now NH2 contain lone pair. Again it will attack here. This double bond shift here and this OH will remove. So the final product is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 membered ring NH this double bond and NH2. So this is our final product in this case. So further step can also be given if the reduction is possible. So after reduction rearrangement is done and the final product is like this. Here you can see we have only one reactant but this is also a Bailey-Selman reaction. Intramolecular Bailey-Selman reaction means the reaction taking place in only one reactant within only one reactant. So here you can see this is our ketone. This is our ketone and this is our activated alkene. So both the reactants or substrates are present in only one reactant. So what we do is just attach this carbon to this carbon and convert double bond O to OH. We try to write the product of this reaction. This will be five membered ring. Here double bond is present. This double bond O is converted to OH. Okay, and CH3 is present. Double bond remains as it is. R remains as it is. Stereochemistry will retain in this reaction. And this is our product. So in this way, intramolecular Bailey-Sinman reaction takes place. So the trick number four is stereochemistry will not change in Bailey-Sinman reaction and we can also do intramolecular Bailey-Sinman reaction. So this is it. We have understood the tricks. So this is it for today. I'll meet you in the next video with a new reaction. Till then, if you have any questions, any queries, you can write in the comment box. Thank you so much.